guys I've been doing some work since you last saw um, I grounded it all down to bare metal uh, took all the bondo off there's no bondo left on the hood I went all the way down to bare metal in most spots for the most part it's pretty smooth except for this one one dent right here and I took too much Bondo off of it. And there's a lot of damage right here. And one big whammo right here. I did find the original spot to put the Porsche emblem. And I took the paint off the rims. It's gold with alloy on the outside came out pretty well I used oven cleaner to strip all the paint off I think it looks pretty good I did give it a once over with pressure washing but it didn't do too much good I'm also peeling Bondo off of these sections I ground off all the rust in these sections. I'm going to put a little bit of rust blocker in some spots and these other spots like this I'm not even going to mess with. I'm not putting a whole lot of time into this car like I said from the beginning. But I'm doing just enough to make the next guy real happy with what he's getting. That's the original color to these wheels. And I believe they're either BBS or in case I'm not sure maybe one of you down in the comments knows if you know what these are let me know because I cannot find anything like these anywhere like this exact design there's some that are BBS and some that are NK but I can't find any specifically like this so it could be just a knockoff of them but I'm not sure if any of you down in the comments could tell me what kind of rims these are that would be great and provide a link too or some pictures a link to a picture anyway all four came clean well I'm gonna start putting primer and paint down on the hood I'm not even gonna mess with Bondo because I mean really this car is gonna get repainted redone anyway so I'm just gonna put a, a layer of rust blocker down and a layer of paint to match it I think it'll look pretty decent. I ground off quite a few spots that were peeling. Notice the 924 emblem matches the rims. And if you think about it, it matches the interior also. I have yet to start on cleaning the interior yet, but I'm going to start on that eventually. Well, it's the end of the day. Um, got it pretty much repainted. I put down rust blocker too, so the rust wouldn't form underneath this paint. It's got a little dent here, but whoever uh, gets this car they'll have to strip it down and repaint it but I figure I'd put a little satin black on it make it look a little better I cleaned the glass too and here's the roof got the roof pretty much painted I may go back over it again Um, the holes I did cover up because since it's gonna rain soon I put some tape down plus it matches pretty good I know I know the correct thing to do would be to get a roof scan or get a sheet of metal form it cut this rotten stuff out 
welded a new one, but that's not what I'm going to do. That's what the next person is going to do. So. Also, I touched up a few other spots right here. I put tape over all the rust holes so when it rains, water doesn't get in there. And clean this window as well. But she's coming along. The hood looks pretty decent. I may not put another coat on it. And may or may not put another coat on the roof. I even painted the windshield wipers. Alright guys, this is another day. Uh, I pretty much got the rims cleaned, if I haven't addressed that in the other video. I used some, a mixture of grill cleaner and oven cleaner and got the paint off of them. I still got to go back over them with some mag wheel polish. And so far, all four of them came out pretty good. There's still a little little bit in in between. I tried to get into that with a Dremel, but it just took all the all the paint off for some reason. As you can see, it's sort of coming off a little bit, so I didn't want to I didn't want to do any more on it. I think it looks good the way it is. Yeah, as you can see, there's there's still some white film on them, but it's not too bad. Um, got the front end completed. I got it painted. Sorry, I didn't film all that. I had I was on a limited limited time. Had limited time to do it, and it's got a little bit of damage. I took all the bondo off. As you guys might remember. This hood was full of Bondo. I took all the Bondo off, sanded it down to bare metal. I uh, primered it, put some rust blocker on it, and put two coats of satin black on it. And it came out pretty good. I did the same with the headlight covers. I took all the Bondo off of them. They were cracking, it just looked crappy. So, took all that off. Did the same I did with the hood. and came out pretty good might need to go back over a few spots but overall it's not bad I did the same with the roof there's really nothing I can do with the roof where it was rusting through I did the right thing and just covered it up with some tape I put a little bit of silicone in there but it was just falling straight through into the car so I didn't mess with that much more so that keeps the rain out that's all that matters sunroof was white as you remember I put three coats of satin black on it came out alright but the interior is another thing I put all the interior back in including the door panels door panels came out okay I used purple power on the door panels I used it on the dash along with some armor all got the interior all back together I have yet to clean the back seat yet I did clean half the driver's seat I couldn't get to the other side um, the dash for the most part is clean currently I'm using something called Sprayway uh, it's interior detailer high gloss looks really really good has a really fruity smell to it too it 
These door panels are coming clean and then the smell in this car has totally changed. It does not even smell bad at all anymore. In fact, it smells really good. I'm gonna keep spraying and uh, I'll update you once I clean these seats. I just wanted to show you real quick what the before is before I clean the back seat. And the before on this one as well. I'm using something called Purple Power to clean the leather. Alright, and here it is. This is the final result with the sprayway and the Purple Power. I think it came out really good. It's got a glossy finish. Also did the back seat here. Uh, some of that wouldn't come up. I may have to go back over it a second time, but a majority of it came off and has such a shine to it. I even did the quarter interior panels right there and right here. And I think it looks pretty good. Came out all right. Next, I'm going to try and clean the carpet. I don't know how far I'm going to get with that. I have a few products I'm going to try on it, but I don't know. That's pretty stained. Considering that I pulled like grass and roots that are growing in the carpet out, and there was literally, I was using a shovel to pull that dirt out, uh, might not come clean. Door panels are pretty much done. I'd say they came out pretty good. These seats also came clean. I may go back over it again, may not, but I'm going to focus on the carpet next, see if I can pull any of that up at all. It definitely needs to be vacuumed because that came out of the back of the seat. Also, the back of the seats came somewhat clean, considering they were covered with mold. They're somewhat clean. But overall, it's starting to look a lot better. I got the engine done as well. Sorry I did not film any of it. Like I said, I was on a time crunch and I had to get it done. I could not run back and forth to the camera. So, this is all the parts that I had with the car that came with it. Unfortunately, some of the parts are missing. I'm missing the air cleaner for this and there's a little middle piece that goes here and a second piece that sits on top of here but it took me a while to get this done it took me several days I'm like I said I'm no expert but I did did try and put it all together the way that it was I went by pictures and I think I did all right um, the engine, I did get it to turn over, and everything else, I think everything else was here. Even though the engine was full of water, it still turns over. And that alternator, that alternator bracket down there is something up with it, I don't know what, but that's the way it was before the engine got disassembled so <clears throat> I still got to get a set of fenders for it um, I located a set but it's just a matter of getting to them I got the headlights on but they're not perfect the alignments not perfect and as I said I'm not going to get this running I'm not gonna get it running because I'm not a mechanic I'm not a wizard with this I don't I don't work on engines I don't get them running 
especially when they've been sitting 20 years so that and it's fuel injected so I don't really do fuel injection stuff either but on another note this was completely bent under here this lower valence I straightened it out as best as I could and it looks all right